Hi, I'm Kelly Thompson with Motor Vitality. So I'm going to do a little experiment here, which I'm very excited about doing and very curious about doing. Um, I saw this spin touch test kit from Lamont at the WQA convention in Las Vegas this year. And I've been very excited to try this thing out and see what it does and how accurate it is. It's so fast and quick. And the thing that I love about it is if this thing does what I expect it to do, this is going to be an awesome tool for plumbers or well drillers or service techs that, that don't have the time to do the thorough, complete demonstration or, or uh, water testing that they really should be doing in the home. So I, I'm going to test the water today at a home that I've tested at dozens of times. This is, this is the home that I've lived in for 16 years and we're going to test this out. I, I, I know that in general, over the past 16 years when I've tested the well water here, I've had between 21 and 23 grains of hardness. I've had about a part per million of iron. Um, my toilets have not been stained up, so I'm not expecting to see any ferric iron. The spin touch does test for, uh, for both types of iron, both ferrous and ferric. And so I'm curious to see uh, what it shows there. Uh, my pH is usually right around 7.2 to 7.5, so I'm curious about that. I've had the, the, um, the home tested for nitrates, and it's been usually non-detectable, but this also tests for nitrates and gives me a reading there. So I'm very curious to see how this plays out and, and the, what the test results are when I test. So let's see, uh, let's see how this works. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do here is take, I'm going to select a well water disc from my, from my disc here. There's both city water and well water. So the city water tests for chlorine in addition to hardness and those types of things. So I'm going to take my well water disc, well water disc test for iron and the things that you would most regularly see uh, on well water. Pull that out. So this is the machine here. And I'll show you how that works in a moment. It comes with a nice little pad here. Um, so I'll we'll take the disc out. There are a little, couple little things that you uh, put. Here's a disc cover that you'll, you'll have in there to put over the top of the disc. So we'll grab one of my syringes out of the, uh, the pack here. Aside for a minute, so you can see what what we're doing here. So there's my syringe. Pull my disc out. Now I've already pulled a sample because I, I do have a water softener in here, and so I've already pulled a sample out of my my well directly from my well downstairs. And I did let it run for a little while to make sure that I was getting water directly from the well, not from the. Um, not from the, the pressure tank. So, all right, so we're gonna set that here. And I went gone and pulled some water out here. So, let's see if I can remember exactly what the instruction said here to do. So I'm gonna pull the, pull a sample out. All right, and just like, uh, okay, and that should be enough. So we'll pull, that's, that's all the water that you need. And then there's a little hole in the disc here, tiny little hole. And then I'm just gonna, and what happens is sort of like the Titanic. This, is, this water fills up each one of these little compartments. And you can see it, you fill it totally up. You don't want an air bubble. So if there's an air bubble, what they tell you to do is to back it out a little bit. So you suck the, suck the water back out. But they just say, if you, oh, if you overfill it, it does come with a little, little towel that they tell you to make sure that the disc is totally dry with. So you dry that up, get the disc cover here, put it on, turn this guy on. And I charged the battery yesterday. They do say you get like a, they, they say, um, I think they said, the, the instruction said, I mean, it's like a hundred tests in between the charges. So there's a lot. So I'm gonna close that up and then I'm gonna select, so it's well water, 
I've got selected here, if you can see, the uh, we've got we've got well water selected. We've got the the disc type selected, which is the DW21. That is the well water series, and then we are just going to simply tap to start. And now we wait. The well water takes approximately two minutes. And the light is flashing like this. It means that it's actually doing the test, and you can see the bar going across here. And uh, um, so now it's slowing down. So you hear it spinning fast, and then the, the instructions say that it will begin to slow down. And what this is doing is making sure the reagents in the disc are, are working with the water. So we've got the results, and let's take a look and see what we have here. So I, we are right at 7.3. This gives me the alkalinity, which says that it's high above 250. My hardness is right in line with where I said it has been in the past at 21.9 grains per gallon, uh, almost 22. My iron is at uh, very close to 1. That's what I've gotten when I visually tested it. 0.3 on the... Uh, um, on the ferrous, this is telling me 0.6 on the ferric, which I think is interesting, but might have something to do with the fact that I had pulled a sample pre the, the, the sample and let it sit for a little while. So, because I don't think that I normally have the ferrous iron. So it would probably be a good idea to, to let the water, uh, to make sure you're testing the water directly from the well, to let the water run for a while to make sure you get an accurate reading there. Um, nitrate and nitrites, both at zero. Um, and my copper at 0.1. So there you have it. That's how you test with the spin touch. It's actually very easy and very quick. So I, I love the ability to do this right in the home and you can, you, you even have the ability to Bluetooth connect this to a mobile device or you can, or your, your computer and you can geolocate the test uh, for your customers and input that directly into a database. If you're interested or you want more information on my experience with this or on how to purchase one, uh, please reach out to me or visit us at motivitality.com.